and welcome back to High Intensity Inspiration Training. I'm your host, Meg Lewis, and I am so excited to work you into creative shape with another round of three fun and inspiring creative exercises. The theme for today's episode is self-celebration. Yippee! Nice! Meaning we're taking what makes you unique and letting that shine through into each of these three exercises. We're gonna kick things off with a rapid fire sketching exercise. So we're then going to express ourselves through movement and create our very own signature dance move. And then we'll close things out with an exercise where we think of as many alternative uses for our favorite household object. And as always, today we're gonna be working at the speed of one. Which just means that we'll be working really fast before our brain can get in the way. All right, so let's get going. Wait, Meg. Oh, hi. Before we start, since this episode is all about celebrating your unique self, we'd love to know more about you. What makes Meg, Meg? Wow, well, there's so much that makes Meg, Meg. I really love macaroni and cheese, and I like clowns and circuses and mimes. There's just so much more that I could tell you about, like my whole life story, and I like to go play by myself in the junkyard, and then I learned how to make really good sad faces and happy faces, and I like to play instruments. I play a lot of instruments. And then after that, we just had to buy a new toilet. So that's basically all you need to know about me. Uh, thanks, Meg. Um, how about we just get started with the exercises? You got it. I'll see you soon. For our first exercise today, we're gonna start with an alphabet sketch game. Yes! In this exercise, we're gonna see how many things we can draw starting with the same letter. Okay. Now the twist of this exercise is that everything you're drawing has to stem from the things you love, your favorite things. Because remember, the theme of this entire episode is bringing in your true self into everything that you make. Now for this exercise, I have trusty old Marky here, a giant piece of paper, and a basket full of ping pong balls with different letters on them. For this exercise, we'll be doing it in two sets of 90 seconds. For the first set, we'll be drawing a single letter, and then we'll see how many of our favorite things we can draw within that 90 seconds. For set two, we'll be picking a ball, drawing a thing, picking a ball, drawing a thing, and seeing how many of our favorite things we can draw. Now, I love this exercise because it gets us in tune with ourselves and allows us to celebrate our favorite things. It's the perfect first exercise for us to truly get in touch with what makes us who we are. Okay, let's get 90 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one, let's pick a letter. Now you can follow along with me or pick your own ball. Okay, we're starting with the letter C, let's go. All right, C things, things I love, candy. So I'm gonna draw a big piece of candy here. I also love corn. Let's see here. Corn, we have to do every kernel. Do we have time for that? We need the little corn holders at the end. That's corn. Who doesn't love a camel? And I don't know how to draw a camel, so this will be nice and funny. I believe there are two humps, and oh, that's a head, and perhaps a leg. Do camels have tails? Probably. What do they look like? I don't know. And there's some water coming out of the top of the camel's hump because, oops, someone poked the camel. Oh. You have to incorporate cheese. What kind of cheese is this? I don't know. It's a cheese I'm making up right now. I love the circus. So I'm gonna draw a circus tent. Is this what circus tents look like? I also love chaos, so let's add some chaos in here. This is chaotic chaos. Let's do a coconut. I love coconuts. First, I'm gonna set the scene with a palm tree, because we must. And here's my coconut and a caterpillar. Who doesn't love a fuzzy, cute little caterpillar? Here it is. 10 seconds left. Uh, I'm gonna go with coffee because I love that and I can definitely draw it in 10 seconds. And there's a handle and steam and that's time. This actually went far better than I thought it would. I am not that great at drawing from memory what things look like. I constantly have to look at reference photos. So I'm pretty impressed with the camel I drew and I feel like I did a really great job of representing who I am. There's all parts of me represented on this paper, including the chaos. So when I see this piece of paper with all my drawings on it, I feel really excited. I feel seen by myself. I feel represented here. It feels really great. Aww. All right, let's move on to set two where we're drawing as many things as we can, picking a ball after each drawing. Okay, let's get 90 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one, let's go. All right, letter, what is this, a K? I'm gonna draw a kite. Simple shape for a kite, and there's the tail. This is my kite. <laughs> let's draw another letter. We have, oh, the power of S. It has to be a snake. I love snakes. Whoa. 
There's my snake. Eyeball, mouth, uh, tongue. Snake. Let's draw again. X. I do have a xylophone. I've played it once before. Let's draw a xylophone. It tapers down at the middle and it's got bars. Yeah, yeah. And a mallet, we must. Two mallets, yes. Next ball. It's C again. We love C. I'm gonna draw a clown. There's my clown, clown nose, clown eyes, clown hair. A clown. Next letter. It's F. I love fries. Let's draw fries. I'm doing loose fries instead of fries in a container. And here's some salt scattered around. Some of the salt's on the fries. Here we go, fries. Let's draw another letter. Oh, whoa. I think we only have time for one more. Let's draw the last letter. It's an O. I love onions. Cooked, raw, I don't care. This is my onion. Bee. Onion. And time. All right, so I'm feeling very energized after that exercise because it really was the perfect warm up for getting at touch with myself and thinking improvisationally. I really had to think on my toes so quickly there and I'm sure you did too. And wow, it is just so fun to look at all of my favorite things. In this exercise, you're gonna be creating your signature dance move. You're gonna be visually representing two different parts of your personality through the art of dance. Then you'll be combining them together into a signature dance move that's representative of what makes you, you. So for this exercise, you're gonna be communicating two very different parts of your personality. Two traits that might be contradictory to one another. For me, I'm a very chaotic person, but I'm also extremely organized. Now those two things don't normally go together, but they do go together because they exist inside of me. So for you, I want you to choose two different personality traits that are unique to you. And in this exercise, we'll be taking 30 seconds to visually represent both of those personality traits in dance. And then at the very end, we'll combine them together into your signature dance move. So before we get started, I wanna pick some music that helps me recognize my most chaotic personality. No. Just Not quite. Yeah. All right, let's get 30 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so chaotic. Chaotic feels very much like, ah, to me, something like this. This feels chaotic. Or a lot of arms, I think, or maybe legs too. Is this dance? Am I dancing? <laughs> okay, I feel like it should just be arms. Maybe big arm movements. This feels right. Oh, I like this. This is chaotic to me. Yeah, we found it. All right, that's time. All right, now that we have my chaotic dance move down, let's move on to my second personality trait, the fact that I'm extremely organized. But I need to find a song first, so let's see what we have. The itsy bitsy spider oh, no. went up the I'm drowning. No, 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 no. I'm yeah, okay. So let's put 30 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one. Okay, organized feels like structure, structure. Put it in boxes, put it in boxes. Structure, structure. Box, box, box. Organized, organized, organized. Yes, oh, I like this. Organized, I'm organized. Yes, organized. Yes, organized. This feels good. What does yours look like? Organized. And we're up for time. That's it, we did it. We're on to the final step. It's putting it all together into a signature dance move that's both, for me, chaotic and organized. But let's find the perfect song first. Oh no, no way. Let's try this one. Okay, here we go. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one. All right, so chaos was sort of like this. And organized was like this. Okay, so we need to somehow merge this with this. 
Is it like stiff arms, loose arms? Oh, I think it's something to do with this. Maybe I'd do a 360 turn. Have you ever seen this before? I think this might be my signature move. It is making me out of breath. All right, we're running out of time, and that's it. Whew, I'm out of breath, but now I have my signature dance move. One of my favorite things about this exercise is that there's a lot of people in this world and it often feels like everything's been taken and it's really hard to come up with something new and fresh that nobody's ever done before. But this exercise was a really fun way to combine different aspects of ourselves into something that feels totally fresh and brand new and only something that you could possibly do. Hopefully soon we'll be trending on TikTok with this dance move. Our final exercise today is all about alternative uses. Taking your favorite everyday object and turning it into something new. My favorite part about this exercise is that it's all about celebrating our unique differences and what makes your brain amazing at solving creative problems because your ultimate outcome will be very different from anybody else's. For this exercise, you're gonna need your favorite everyday object. I have here my trusty favorite sneaker. And in 90 seconds, you're gonna try and think of as many alternative uses as you can for your object. Before we get started, I want you to gather all kinds of objects and materials from around your home. I've gathered a bunch of random things from around the set for myself to use, and this should make it way easier for you to brainstorm and create your alternative uses. Okay, let's get 90 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, where do I start? Um, I don't know, but it's getting a little breezy in here, so we need to take care of that. Oh, paperweight. Okay, what next? Oh, telephone. Hello? Meg? Mom? Where you been? I have so much to Sorry, tell you. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Hmm. Oh, selfie holder. A uh, stress ball. I'm very stressed out. I don't have much time left. Ooh, planter. Aww. What else can I put in here? <gasps> Koozie! <sighs> Drumstick. <gasps> Crayon holder! All right, pop it. Hi, puppet. Meg, why'd you hang up? Mom, is that you again? I just want to talk to you for a couple minutes. I, I sorry, really I can't talk right now. Talk. Okay, we have five seconds left. I'm just gonna slap some paint on this thing and call it a stamp. Stamp. This exercise was so fun because everything happened so quickly and I totally came up with things with my favorite everyday object that I wouldn't have otherwise, all because I was operating at the, the speed, speed of the mind. And this was such a great test of creative problem solving using my unique brain. So I can't wait to see what your unique brain came up with too. Hi mom. Hey. Yeah, I have time to talk now. It has been a chaotic day. Was I on camera? Yes, you were on camera. Oh my goodness, am I still on camera? Yes, you're still on camera. Did you use your sneaker as a koozie? Yes, I did use my sneaker as a koozie. You did it, congratulations. You just celebrated yourself through three creative exercises, all at the speed of fun. I cannot wait to see what you made, so make sure to share on social media and tag Skillshare so we can see it. And I hope you leave today feeling super inspired and ready to create some great work. Goodbye.